So let's try to solve uh, this program. So what is the output of this? I'm sure most of the people would say it is equals. But if you are comparing the value Pankaj Sir Academy, Pankaj Sir Academy here, and if you're telling the output is equal, then your analysis is wrong. It is not comparing the values and printing equal. Then what is it comparing now? Observe carefully what happens in Java. When I write string S1, it would ideally create an object and in that it would store Pankaj Sir Academy. And that's pointed by S1. So S1 points to the object created on the RAM or in other words, S1 holds the address of the object. Now again, if in Java, you create a string variable and you are trying to store the same value, right? I am creating a variable string S2 and I am storing the same value Pankaj Sir Academy. Then in Java, a new object of string would not be created. Rather, S2 will also point to the same object. Again, if I write string S3 equals Pankaj Sir Academy. Then, ideally, S3, because the value we are trying to store, there is already an object with that value. It will not create a new object. It would point to the same object. Okay? So, whenever there are multiple string variables, consisting of the same value, then all that variables will point to the same object. So when I'm comparing S1 with S2, what would happen now is uh, it would compare the address of S1 with S2. Because S1 and S2 are pointing to the same object. Because S1 and S2 are pointing to the same object, the output of this as the addresses are same of the object, it would be equal. It's not comparing the value and printing equal. It's comparing the address of the object S1 with S2 and the output is what? Equal. Okay. Please do keep this in mind. In Java, string is a class. So when I write string S1, it's actually creating an object and storing the value. Okay. I hope uh, you got this concept.